Hello, 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 everybody. Happy Monday, happy new week. This is Abigail Mensabon to your intuitive quantum goddess coach. Um, here with your weekly goddess energy forecast. So for this week's forecast, we'll go ahead and begin with um, what this week's energy is like, what you're working with, um, and then we'll tap into the opening exercise, and then from then, um, I will go through each of the cards so that you can receive your message or your main focus for this week. Remember, the messages combined, all three messages combined, um, gives you the overall outlook on how this week is going to be. And then each individual card tells you where you need to focus in order to be in alignment with your true north star or your soul path. So let's go ahead and begin. So we entered this week in the energy of Mercury retrograde as well as we celebrated the new moon in Pisces. So both the new moon and the uh, Mercury retrograde are both in the water sign of Pisces. So you can see this week um, really is about um, what what I when I tuned into the this energy. It's about decluttering. It's about removing those. Um, they look like. Uh, I should say like removing those, oh, what, what word am I looking for? Whatever is left off in the emotional body um, that needs to go, that is what you're, re it's like the debris, the debris within your emotional body is what is being um, removed through this Mercury retrograde and the new moon. Now, one thing I want to mention is that usually with a new moon, you know, it's a great time to set intention. It's a great time for new beginnings. But this new moon really has like an ending to it as well. And probably because of how um, Mercury retrograde is playing um, in that energy too. So it's no surprise. But even with that... <clears throat> excuse me, with every ending, there's a new beginning. With every new beginning, there's an ending. And this is important because you have to make way for whatever is new that needs to come in. And that is very important. And so this week, we're kind of playing with that energy, um, what needs to go in the, in the emotional realm. It's okay, baby. You know, like what needs to go? Pay attention to the emotional stuff. What I'm getting is drama, the emotional drama. Now, here's the thing. Oh, this is beautiful. Okay, so here's the thing. As you're working on yourself, as you are stepping more and more into that positive energy, as you're experiencing more synchronicities, you're also more likely to be, it's almost like your eyes are open. Babu, no. Mm -mm. It's almost like your eyes are wide open to what is opposite of that too. So um, you might see, you, you can see more of what is on the negative spectrum. Now here's the thing, you have the choice in terms of what you want to be aligned with. So you can choose to be in, a, in alignment with the, the positive energy, the, the energy of joy, the energy of love, the energy of optimism, or you can choose to be in alignment with the drama that is surrounding you, with the chaos that is surrounding you, with the, you know, like all of that stuff. But it comes down to choice. What are you choosing to align yourself with? And once you know what you're aligning yourself with, then anything that is not in alignment with that needs to go. So this is where this new moon is coming in because you need to make space for what is coming through. You, that space is so important. <laughs> you need to make space for what is coming through. 
So with the Mercury retrograde, again, Mercury is the um, planet of communication, of travel, um, of technology. And so, you know, usually the, the typical thing is like, oh, my cell phone is not working. My computer crashed. My car is not working. But let's really go beyond. Let's go beyond all of that. Yes, that's part of Mercury retrograde. But the main part is communication let's bring the words that are coming in out of your mouth and this is what we talked about um in my moon goddess circle again if you're interested send me a message but this is the topic we talked about being responsible for the words that are coming out of your mouth mercury during mercury retrograde is it's almost like the cap or the sweetness that you used to drench your words kind of gets taken away so that you kind of word vomit, you know, like you say whatever it is that needs to come out, right? So the most likely you, you say something that like, oh man, why did I say this? Or, oh man, why did I say this? Here's the thing. It came out. It's supposed to be said, but you need to take responsibility for that because it came out of your mouth. You chose to speak those words and share those words. So it's important <laughs> to <laughs> have a little gremlin here. <laughs> He's so cute though. It's a cute gremlin. Um, it's so important for you to, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> it is important for you to be responsible. <laughs> oh my God, this child, really? Yeah, he, he's practicing words too. So it's important for you to take responsibility for your words that are coming through, you know, through your mouth. The words that you choose to share, take responsibility for it. I don't want to hear, oh, it's Mercury retrograde for, you know, it's Mercury retrograde form. Oh my gosh, I can't talk. It's Mercury retrograde's fault. I don't want to hear that. Because what Mercury retrograde is doing is helping you be frequent, frequent. And um, I don't know if it, it's like flow, help your words flow easily. And also removing the cap from your, the way your words flow so you can say what you really mean. And so with that said, be prepared to hear things from people, the truth from people, the hidden truth from people that they've been afraid to share with you for a long time, right? Don't take that personally. Don't, don't get upset with that, but simply just take whatever it is that you need to t receive from what, what they just told you and then just go from there, right? They're not saying it to hurt your feelings. They're not saying it um, so that, you know, to be mean. Did you find a picture? Yeah. They're simply just sharing what it is that they want to speak about. All right. So that is just the overview of this week, kind of like what you're going to be working with. And now let's go ahead and move forward with the opening um, for this week. So remember the, the, the importance or the key about this exercise is to open the channel between you and your soul voice. And so when I put the picture um, up, all you have to do is just simply look at it, make sure you have your pen and paper or your pen and journal, look at it and write everything down that you are perceiving from that picture. So there's no right or wrong answer. There is no um, right way to do it. It's just simply listening to your higher self, listening to your soul self, listening to your soul voice speak through that picture and write it down. So let's go ahead and begin. Grab your pen and paper, take a look at the picture and write everything down. I'm going to give you some time to do this exercise. And again, if you want to really keep going, if you want to dive really deeper, go ahead and pause the video and just sit with the picture for a while before continuing.
All right, so if you haven't yet, go ahead and place your hand on your heart. Take in some deep breaths in. Bring all that energy from your head down to your heart. And in this space of the heart, go ahead and ask this question. What do I need to be in alignment with my true north? What do I need to be in alignment with my true north? One, two, or three. Now, once you have received which number um, that is in alignment with you, that the message that you need to learn or hear, go ahead and open your eyes and receive your message. Card number one, if you are called to draw this card, this card is the Star Ancestors. Hidden secrets, lost wisdom, look a little deeper. So this week, if you're called to this card, you're being asked to look a little deeper. <clears throat> Here's your message. The ancients knew much more than we do about our connection with the stars. We have pyramids, temples, and other places of worship created in precise alignment with the stars, exist in all corners of the world. What if this ancient wisdom is available to you to uncover? You're being called to think and listen with your ancient heart and soul, to tap into the part of you that remembers and knows. All ancient secrets are whispered forever in your ears. All mystic knowing blooms in your heart. All potent power pumps through your veins. You're being invited to step into your ancient knowingness to be held by the remembrance of the star ancestors, to look a little deeper if you're feeling stuck. You're being called to do something different, to change your point of view. Creativity happens when we put together two things that don't belong. And when we do that unexpectedly, so often a creative solution is right in front of us, but because we think the same thoughts and act the same way, we miss what happens in the open. You're here to remember and uncover your ancient secrets and transmissions, technology and wisdom that are so needed on the planet right now. To unlock your soul's memories of a time when we lived in harmony on earth and one day will again. So if you're drawn to card number one, here's your affirmation or a mantra that you can use this week to help you bring you in your alignment and also open you up to those hidden secrets, those, that wisdom, that deep ancient wisdom that is within you. I'm ready to remember ancient mysteries and secrets from deep within. I am ready to remember ancient mysteries and secrets from deep within. I am ready to remember ancient mysteries and secrets from deep within. Beautiful. Now card number two is you're not for everybody. Embrace your weirdness and face your true north. <clears throat> I love this card because as, um, as an entrepreneur or, or as someone who has your own business um, in the world of social media, you tend to see that everybody's probably doing the same thing that you're doing and you start to compare yourself with others and you forget that what you, what has been instilled in you to share with the world has your signature attached to it so yes it might look like so and so is doing the same thing as you but they don't have your signature they have their signature and what they're creating is for their soul group as what you're creating is for your soul group. So stop the comparison. Embrace who you are, how you're doing things. So here's your message. Oh, and the last thing, it's okay to be different. It's okay to be weird. You know, the funny thing in our, in my family, um, when someone calls you weird, it's a compliment because it, you know, we taught our kids that it tells you that you're unique. You're not like everybody else. So yeah, it's something fun that we, we do in our family. Here's your message. 
the world is filled with people who, no matter what you do, just won't like you. But it's also filled with people who will love you fiercely. They are your people. You're not for everybody and that's okay. Talk to the people who can hear you. Don't waste your precious time and gifts trying to convince others of your value. They won't ever want what you're selling. Don't try to convince them to walk a lot alongside you. You'll be wasting both your time and theirs and will likely inflict unnecessary wounds that will take precious time to heal. You're not for them and they're not for you. Politely wave them on and continue on your way. Sharing your path with someone is a sacred gift. Don't cheapen it by rolling yours in the wrong direction. Oof, this is a big one. I'm going to repeat this. Sharing your path with someone is a sacred gift. Don't cheapen it by rolling yours in the wrong direction. Keep facing your true north. This is a big one for you if you chose this card for this week. Pulling this card means you're being called to embrace your uniqueness, to own your weirdness, to let the world see you for who you really are, to reveal your multifaceted, multidimensional nature, to reveal your multifaceted, multidimensional nature. Now this part right here, I think is, um, I had a conversation with my, um, one of my friends and um, I was, we were talking about niche and finding one thing um, to focus on and share with your group. And she looked at me and said, hey, you're not one thing. You're never going to be one thing. You were given all those tools for a reason. You got to put it all out there and share. Your people need all of it. And I was just like, it was as if like a weight has been lifted off of me. So if you're someone who, who has a lot to offer, forget about the niche, forget about all of those. Oh, you have to choose the one topic. You were given all of those gifts for a reason. Okay. So your people need all of those gifts. So get it, <clears throat> get it all of that, get it out of that toolbox and share it share it so that your people can find you so let's continue not to dim your light according to who is in your presence to own all parts of yourself so that people the ones who are the same kind of weird as you can recognize when you can recognize you when your paths cross Okay, I'm going to read this again. To own all parts of yourself so that your people, the ones who are the same kind of weird as you, can recognize you when your path crosses. Love this message. So that is your message um, for this week to focus on if you are drawn to card number two. And now card number three. If you are drawn to card number three, this is what you need to focus on for this week. The card is the child of the cosmos. You are the child of the cosmos. The intelligence of the universe lies within you. There's a mysterious force that governs all of life. An intelligence that tells flowers when to bloom and the tides and the seasons when to come and go. That intelligence is within you too. It was there before you drew your first breath and it will be there well beyond your last. It's the part of you that informed every cell what to do when you were in your mother's womb. It's hard to resist this force than it is to surrender to it because Earth is a planet of polarity and free will. It's easy to forget that this intelligence exists within us. So often we become disconnected from this pulse of life and fall into the pattern of believing that we are separate or feeling that we need to go it alone. We can feel isolated and as, it, as if we need to figure things out for ourselves to rely on our own strength. You're being called to remember the intelligence that's within each and every one of yourselves. To remember that you're a precious child of a loving, gentle universe. 
that you have access to all of the intelligence, wisdom, strength, flow, and qualities that ever were, are, or will be. And to remember that if flowers know exactly when and how to bloom, then you do too. Mm, I love that part. If, plow, if flowers know when and how to bloom, then you do too, because what is encoded in, in them is also encoded within you. Which brings us to trust in yourself. Trust yourself. Go ahead and with that, let's go ahead and close our eyes. And I want you to place your hands on your heart. I want you to connect to your breath and connect to that heartbeat. And bring your awareness to this golden bubble of light around you. <coughs> Excuse me. Connect your breath to that golden bubble of light seed, expanding and coming back in, expanding and coming back in. And now connect your heartbeat to that golden bubble of light around you and see it being magnetized. Begin to hum as it connects to your heartbeat. And keep breathing as you connect both your breath and your heartbeat to this golden bubble of light that is around you. And as you do this, the golden bubble of light begin to tune you to your North Star. So go ahead and take in a deep breath in of light. Begin to hear that hum and get louder and louder and louder. And keep breathing. And once it's done tuning, you notice the humming will begin to come down to a normal frequency that you personally can handle. So everybody has their, their own frequency that they are at right now. With the, with the tuning, your frequency will raise up. So this is not like everybody gets that same frequency. You will be lifted to the frequency that is in alignment with you. Taking a deep breath in here and out. Mm. And once you feel like your tuning is done, go ahead and open your eyes, filled with gratitude, filled with optimism for what is to come, knowing that everything that you need is already here now that you are divinely guided in all direction, in all parts of your life. So be it and so it is. Beautiful. It is done. It is done. It is done. Thank you again for receiving this week's energy forecast. And thank you for subscribing to my channel. If you haven't yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as the little bell next to it so that every time I post a video, you will be notified so that you can catch the videos. Um, the I have a book coming up in the spring, um, in April, called Empire Mom. So look out for it. Um, it is a book about moms who are creating conscious businesses or have created conscious businesses around and with your children. Um, so stories about what they went through um, and you'll get to read about my story and my journey. Um, and so I'm so excited to share this with you and thank you so much for this, for receiving this and until next time, blessings to you.